video. Today's video is a um is a story time. This video is part of my GED series. So if you haven't been, if you haven't seen the first one, please go look at that one. And maybe and you'll understand a little bit about why I'm starting this series. If you watch any of my videos, you'll understand a little bit why this series is so it's so dear to me and why I feel like it's important. So if you haven't watched that first one or even the very first video I ever done, go watch those. But before we get into um my story time, I'm trying a new song. I'm trying something new. I started out in a chair and I I, I didn't I didn't like the way I looked it sitting in a chair from this and from it standing up because this tripod stands up and I've just figured it out a while ago so I want to try it so I'm gonna try it if I don't like this I can go back to my original setting you know in time but I just want to try something different at a different angle at least I have something else different to look at now, oh and by the way if you know I'm in my closet so my closet's like right here I got two so this is my closet and this door leads to my bathroom so if you want to if you want to hear about my story then let's get into it all right so this story is like i said the second installment to my gd series and there will be a total of seven more videos seven videos it'll be a total of eight videos and all but it's like this is the, like the second one installment so i still got like six more after this one and, um, I'm still weeding out the ones I don't want to do and the ones I would like to do. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. But today's video is um about my the art bad the art LA battle. And R L A is it just means language, reading language and li reading language arts. That's basically what it is because reading and language arts was two tests. Now it's one. So let's get into it. So um so if you don't know and I, I probably haven't told you if i did oh well oh and if you haven't seen the first two my, my the first one yet please go watch that then you have a better understanding you'll know why this why this series is so true and dear to my heart why i live why I, why i really want to do this and why i really want to push this topic a little bit because it's important to me and not just to me, but, you know, to people that's considering this, this role or this, you know, option. It's important that they have all the information. And I just feel like it's, it's, I feel like it's my job to provide it for them if they need it. You know what I mean? That's why I say, not every, not these videos aren't going to be for everyone. Everyone is not going to benefit from these videos. But the ones that do, the ones that want to see these videos, I want them to see. I want them to have it. And I think the best way to explain it is by telling my story. So that's why I'm doing this. So, um, like I said, if you haven't watched the, the first one of this series and the, my very, very first video, then you won't understand why I'm doing this. Okay? Just so you know. So let's get into So this is the RLA battle. This is the RLA battle. My battle. Alright, so before when I entered when I entered my class, they told me that RLA would probably be the very first test I take. And I knew that because reading is my strongest subject. That's what I do all day long. That's what I've always done. When I was in high school, I lived in the library. My my librarian gave me a year long pass one time to come to library whenever I feel like it during my lunch period because I never went to lunch. Never. I would go long enough to grab a drink or something then I'd come back to library and basically read. That's what I did. I lived in library. I would try to now but I don't have the time now. But maybe maybe since I got a car I can get back into that you know soon. But yeah. um, So I took RLA twice. Twice. And RLA um, if you don't know, it's a three-part test. So you have um, reading and comprehending, basically. Then you have language arts, and oh, and the middle one is the essay and then language arts, basically. I took it three times all together. So the first few, the first two times I failed, it. and the first time I wasn't really that heartbroken about it because I feel like I rushed into it, and I really, not, I kind of already knew I wasn't ready to take it, but I took it just cause I could. I took it. And the second time, um, I was heartbroken because I feel like I didn't understand why I felt it. Because like I said, all I do is read. 
when I say that's literally all I do, there was one point in time where TV did not even exist as far as I was concerned. Like, because I read, I have an app called Wattpad. And if I'm not reading a real book, that's not it. I'm on this app, Wattpad. If you don't have it, get it. I've been on this app since my first year in GD school. Me and my best friend used to sit up during the summers and read, read, read. We would be on the phone just listening to each other breathe while we read. It, it It's a real thing for us. Like, we live and breathe it. We still own it to this day. And my best friend don't have a whole baby. And she's still on the app. So, that lets you know that the app is... Is really good. I love it. It's for amateur writers. I've thought about writing on it a little bit, but nothing serious. But, um, the second time I took it, I was kind of heartbroken and it kind of discouraged me from going to take it again or period. Oh, so that, 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 that was short lived because then, um, I, I, like I said, like I said, like I said, well, I haven't told y'all that yet, but. I had started seeing people go and take tests and get out of it. I mean, people were coming up for maybe three months, four months, take tests and pass them and get out within within a few months. And I just, I could not understand how come I was here this long and I wasn't getting anywhere while I wasn't moving. I didn't understand. And it was, it was, it was starting to affect me a little bit. So, I took my very first test. The very first test I passed. And I passed it, of course. And that's a whole nother story. And I, and I took my next one. My first test was so my my first test was science. My second test was social studies. I passed those two pretty easily. So then, I always knew that math was going to be my my last test. Like I said, me and math aren't friends we never will be we never will we never won't be so it's just a thing with us we won't be friends i always kind of knew that um math was going to be my last test so i really just i kind of hold it off to the end and so when i passed those two tests i kind of had no choice but to hurry up and get rla out the way just so i could focus in heavily on math because i knew that was going to be the subject that needed my undivided attention I, could, I, I knew that if I just focused and I did what I was supposed to do, I could get through RLA. And let me tell y'all something. My biggest problem with RLA was commas. That what was holding me back. Because I've never really been good with um commas ever. And I don't understand it because I'm a writer. So I don't understand how come I'm, I'm not good at it. But I'm just not. I, I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. I don't know how to use commas. The only thing I know where to put a comma, the only place I know where to put a comma is after a series of words, after the, um, in a date, in addresses, and I know how to put it, I know how to put it after a, um, a word that shows position, like, um, she's, which is supposed to be ass, you know, I know how to do that kind of stuff, so that's pretty easy for me, but anything else, no, I don't know where to put it, I don't know where to put it in the sentence, I don't know none of that. Anyway, so, um, and I wasn't finishing the test, of course. And my teacher asked me, she said, Yasmin, are you finishing the test? I said, I think so. She said, no, are you finishing the test? I said, yes. I said, no, I wasn't finishing the test. She said, okay, that's where you're messing up. That's how come you're failing. You're not finishing. You have to finish the whole test, y'all. I don't care. You have to finish it. You have to. That's because it counts against you if you don't. So if the if the test is thirty questions and you only and you've only answered and you only have ten left and it, and it, and, the, and the timer on it says you got five minutes you need to make you need to get five minutes in on them ten questions I'm not playing with y'all y'all need to hurry up and get them ten questions in in them next five minutes because that's legit how that's that's what legit is gonna fail you every time I swear I haven't told y'all that but you have to take a practice test to to qualify for our let RLA test and so at this point I was doing scholarships so I had taken the scholarship for my science and social studies and I had passed those tests I was going to do a scholarship for my language arts test I know what you're asking why didn't I take one for the first why, why didn't I get one for the first two because I did I never scored well the second one I did but the first one I never scored high enough to qualify for a scholarship for the first one 
So, and I'm just, I'm going to say this. Not, I don't think every school offers scholarships. I think most schools you might have to pay for it. I don't know. My school specifically offered them, but you had to make a certain, a certain grade on the practice test in order to qualify for them. So, just so you know. So, I, um, I call, I call, I made high enough on the practice test and I qualified for the, um, RLA test. For a scholarship for the RLA test. And I wouldn't took and if you don't know, if you don't know this, I think I've already told you though, but I would not touch a test if I didn't make one fifty or higher. That was qual that was that was the qualifying um score to get a scholarship. But that was also the qualifying score for me to go and consider a test. So if I wasn't making it, I wasn't finna take no test. And I suggest everybody has a set number I mean, a set um score they want to have before they go take a test because that right there. I mean, if you good at science, science was pretty easy. I think you could pass it with your eyes closed for real, for real. That they tell you that's gonna be the easiest one to pass. That's why most people go ahead and get that one out the way. For my school, I don't know how it works for other schools, but for my specific school, it was it was the one that people usually went up and pass first. Anybody, everybody. So I told, like I said, it seemed like that semester, people were coming and going and coming and going and coming and going. They were taking tests and they were getting out, and I was, I was at a standstill. And my birthday was hitting around. I had the horn in on RLA because I knew that math was going to be my absolute last test it had to be and i had to get all the rest of them out the way so that i could focus in on math i knew that so here comes the battle <laughs> the battle was the first two that i felt but here is where i win the war so um sorry i'm looking around y'all i just i can't look at the camera like that so um I, like I said, I took a, I took a um, practice test, passed it. I qualified for a scholarship, and I went and I went and signed up for a test for a test. I think I took the test on a. It was a school day. I can tell you that because I, I I don't know if I told you that, but we only had school three days a week. So I went to school Tuesdays, thir Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Mondays were um optional, and Fridays. The classes were closed, so we couldn't go on Fridays. So, um, I went, I think I went on a Monday. Yeah, I went on a Monday and I took the test. Because the test, the testing is open Mondays and Wednesdays, I think. It's open, it's open like two days a week. So, I went on a Monday. I went, I think I went in the morning. And, um, I stayed it. I said I came up with a little playlist on YouTube, and that's nothing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with some sites which I that y'all can use to help y'all. If y'all schools don't offer them, y'all could probably go get them for y'all selves. And YouTube, YouTube is always a big help. So I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be a video in itself. If you're interested, just let me know. But um, I came up with a playlist on YouTube, and along with some of the other sites we use, and. I watched it. I watch commas like like my life depended on. I would watch two and three videos a day, and I found some. I found a few videos that like really helps explain it in detail and help me to understand what I need to understand. Understand enough that I could go in here and pass this test with no problem, and it worked apparently because I'm I'm sitting here now. So um. I studied all that week. I took that test on a Thursday. I took that practice test on a Thursday, and I went and took the test on the on the Monday. I remember it's like it was yesterday. So at this point, my teacher had signed everybody up for um Edmodo. And if you don't know what Edmodo is, it's basically like a um like a Facebook for school so you basically just like my teacher would post like lessons on it. Like say you missed the lesson for one week. And for for a week and you and you wanted to catch up or maybe you didn't maybe you didn't maybe you maybe she was moving too fast in class and you couldn't get out of notes so she posts what we went over in class on Edmodo and we would just go on there and we would get the lesson if we could for that day or whatever so 
um, she had, like I said, she had, she had signed us up for Immortal Dead Week. I mean, around that time. And, um, she was like, so, she's like, so you going to take your test Monday, right? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, okay. She said, I said, she said, so I, like I said, I signed, she said, I signed you up for Immortal. So I want you to, I want you to contact me on there when you receive your scores. I said, okay. And that's that's funny how that turned out because she didn't even get it, but that's that's not that's come. I'll get to that. So, um, I went in, like I said, I studied all that weekend leading up except for the day before. I have a rule about that do not study for a big test the day before the test, okay? I urge you because that, that that doesn't do nothing but psych you out for real. It psyched me out, I did it, and it psyched me out with my math, not and it psyched me out so bad. I shouldn't have done it. And my cousin told me, she said, Yeah, do stop studying for that test. I psyched myself out so bad doing it. I probably would have passed it had I not done it anyway. So, um, I went that Monday in the morning. Hey, I always do it in the morning. I don't know why I just always do it in the morning. And, um, I went in that, I went that morning and I took the test. And, I don't, I don't know if I told you about it. It's a hallway. A long, long hallway to get to it. Good thing I had to walk from the, from my GED class to that, to that end of the hallway. But, that's a whole nother story in itself. That hallway and in the play with <laughs> and it's a long walk. So I go, I take the test. You have to sign in, you have to do a whole bunch of stuff before you can go take the test. Like they give they give you a locker. They give you um a key to the locker. That you have to sign some papers. You have to take a ID, a photo ID or something like that. So they can ID you. And it says they assign your computer. You go in, they give like a little a little dry erase board and a marker and some um and something like eraser so like if you need to write something down you can and they give you a mint you know to keep you to keep you waiting keep you you know ready and alert and breakfast before the test is a good thing. If you don't, if you if you if you eat breakfast before the test, that is very smart. I, on the other hand, don't do that. I don't eat breakfast because I be so nervous. I can't even think about food. But if you do that, continue to do that because that hurt. That helps you. That that's fuel for the brain. So if you can do that, do that. If you can eat a uh, breakfast before the test, eat one. Even if it's just some fruit, eat eat something, anything. That's fuel for the brain. It helps you think better. So you know. So um I took so they assigned me a test and it it was always this one computer I said it and I don't know if this was is this if this everybody but this is me it was always this one computer I always said it and it was the it was the first row second computer down at the top and I got the computer and any time any time I took a test that was the computer I was assigned to and that was the computer I passed on. I swear to you, I kid you not, every time I took a test, that was the computer I was at and that was the computer I passed on. Remember that, because it's going to come up a lot. <laughs> and like the next couple of videos, that, that computer is going to pop up. So, um, like I said, I went, I took a test, I said that computer... And the test is about an hour and some change long. I can't really say exactly. But it's almost an hour and a half long. So that's how long I'm going to take you to finish. Because the essay part is like, like a good 10. I want to say 10 or 15 minutes itself in itself. Because you have to do. Because they give you a topic. They give you, they give you a topic. And a topic could be recycling. You have to argue a side. So you might have. Um, recycling opposed and recycling for, and basically you have to go and read the articles and say whether you for or against recycling. Everybody should be for recycling, so let's not even make the argument. Um, <laughs> um, so they give you that, and so you have to argue that, and you have to read and you know argue your your point. So then RLA. I mean, then language arts. The first one was reading. The second one is the essay. Then the third one is RLA. And like I just said, RLA, I love to write. But I ain't that good with punctuation. And I mean commas specifically. So I get through this pretty well, you know. And I finish the test. 
So, um, when you finish the test, that you have to raise your hand, they come in, they grab you, and they walk you out. And that's just so you don't talk to anybody, you don't do anything, because, like I said, this is a real test, and if you do something like this, if you talk, bring something in that test, they will automatically fail you and kick you out of there. And that, and that can get you in serious trouble. I don't know how much trouble, but it can automatically fail you. And that test costs too much money to be in that plan. That's why I stay. If you really want your GD, then you come in there and you be ready and prepared to do what you got to do. Don't be messing around with nobody. Don't do none of that because that's going to hurt you, not anybody else. Just saying. Let me hurry up. So, I finished the test and um, it usually takes about 10, 15 minutes for you to get an email on your phone because they give you give them they they have it's it's connected to my GED account and basically my GED account is um how you um sign up and everything for the test. Let me see I got pictures of um some things I can show y'all. So basically that's how you sign up for the test. That's how you schedule and all of that. That's also how you take your practice test. And it's also like a, like a little cue card section for every subject and you can go through and study. And you can go through and see and examine what's gonna be on the test. Let me find this real quick. I'm sorry, y'all. I just I, I should have had this already ready, but me I don't think so. I'm just gonna go find it real quick. Y'all so that's my GD account right there. It's just a screenshot. It's probably deactivated by now. This is my screenshot. Okay. And so, you saw little checks on there? On like the little tabs. On like the little sections. Okay. So, anytime you take a test and there's a green check on that means that's all, that, that means you passed it. Just so you know. And here go, here go all my scores. So, my RLA score was 150. That's what I made on the test. That, that's how I passed. That's what I made. So I get like a little. So I get. So I get outside because I had called my mom and say, "Mom, I'm ready. You can come get me." She said, "Okay, I'm on my way." So as I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and um, I I I get an email saying, "Oh, your GD scores are ready. You can go look if you want." I said, "Okay." So I click on the link. It's, it gives like a little link in the email, and um, you, and, then you, and it takes you right to the website. And you just sign in and you go. And it's got like a little message um, right there where it says check. The message will pop up right there. And um, you click on it and it takes you straight to your scores. And I see my score, 150. I, I had, I had like, when I tell y'all, it was like, it was like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. Like, I had managed to pass that test. And I had tried twice before and failed it failed it completely failed it and I and I was always like five ten fifteen points away from past and I was like oh my god I was so happy about that so I write my teacher on Edmodo and I say I made 150 but she don't respond to it so she don't find out till the next day and I come in the classroom she's like oh she said you never told me what you made you never told me what you made I didn't even, I said I sent it to you on Edmodo she said you did she said you sure did I didn't even check it and so then, um, and I showed y'all my buttons already. If y'all haven't, I probably haven't posted a video by now, but I showed her, I, she gave me my button and she put, uh, um, the next subject I passed. And so I only had one test left and that was math. And that is another story in itself. But, um, that was it for my, for my RLA battle. And it was a long and treacherous battle, but I conquered and I won the war. Woo, hallelujah. Anything is possible through, through Christ. I say, I say it, and I swear by that. Um, so, Matthew is my will, will be my last and final test, and that is another battle for it for another day. But um, before I end the video, I just want to start. I just want to say, um, I am considering making it twice my uploads twice a week instead of once a week so if you would like that i'd be more than happy to um make that happen for you you know just let me know and like i like i always say you know whatever you want me to do whatever you want to see i will do i will make happy you just have to ask by coming at the bottom so like comment subscribe let me know and i will make that happen 
Um, I do plan on doing a car tour. I do plan on doing my DIY dream vision board, virtual vision board. I just I got to find the time to do both, and some things you can't do if you're not if you don't feel motivated to do it. And I really just haven't feel like I really just haven't felt motivated to do the vision board. And as for the car tour, my car needs some cleaning up. It needs to be washed. It needs a whole bunch of things before I can do any of that. So trust me, that will come. You will get those videos. I promise you. I haven't forgotten. I I. Remind myself all the time, Yasmin, you got to get those videos out. You got Embry. I have to stop saying my real name. You got to get those videos out. You got to get those videos out. And I will make that happen for y'all. Until then, um, I'm signing off. So, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you want to see. And I will do my very, very best to make that happen. I love you and bye. Mwah.